Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, I'm in a very um, English countryside area. There's a guy plowing a field over there. And I have the K truck because it's obviously four wheel drive and it needs to be mildly off road. I'm gonna definitely use four wheel drive and diff locks to get out of this. Now, as you all know very, very well, I've bought the Suzuki carry. I've been using it for house renovations and everything. Massive trackers, big four wheel drives, big four wheel drives. <laughs> as I said, I bought this little beast to do loads of house renovations, clear up all the stuff, take stuff to the dump or the sort of recycling site and anything like that. I also wanted to use it to pick up bikes, pick up like restoration projects, anything like that where things that maybe don't run, all that kind of thing, but also cart the monkey around and all that sort of stuff. I was chatting to Mr. Tommy Lindley, who's one of the patrons. He's been mentioned on this channel many times recently. So Tommy, I'll, uh, I'll invoice you for your, for your shout outs. I was chatting to him about what I'm planning to use the truck for and everything. I also kind of alluded to the fact that I'd do that to, uh, for other people, friends of mine or patrons or whatever, if anyone else wanted a local pickup. Sorry, Rich, I'm, I'm not bringing one up to Scotland because it will take seven to eight months in this thing to get up to Scotland. <laughs> Tommy basically said to me that he'd bought a bike in Aylesbury, which is not far from where I live. He was planning to come down and pick it up with a trailer and his truck, but sort of thought it might actually be quite good content for me to pick it up in this, go and pick it up, and he'd pay me for my time and for fuel and everything to get up there, which I quickly said, of course I'll do it. Of course I want to go and pick something up. But he did say there's one problem with it. It's quite an old Honda VFR, but it hadn't been on the road for 15 years. The owner was basically moving back to Australia and he needed to get rid of stuff, he needed to offload everything. It sat there gathering dust and getting flat tires and all sorts of stuff. Getting a bike onto the back of this is completely fine when you have an engine. When you don't have an engine or brakes, it's quite difficult because you can push a bike up with some momentum, but if you don't have brakes, you're gonna go into the back of the cab quite quickly which got me thinking, which got me buying, should I say. I started looking online and I was very surprised to find out that winches aren't as much as I thought they were. You know exactly where this is going. So I bought a winch. <laughs> Look at this, little stealth winch. It's quite a small winch as you can tell. I mean, that's my hand. So it is a quite small winch, but it's rated to one and a half tons. But because obviously for most people's winches, they want something that's rated to like four or five tons. I don't need four or five ton capacity. I only need, to be fair, I only really need three or 400 kilos at absolute max. The VFR probably weighs 230, 240 kilos. So as long as it can pull that, it doesn't really matter on the back. But I thought, well, if I go for a one and a half tonner, Careful, I nearly lost my foot. Once I get some form of bumper on the front and I take this off-road, properly off-road, I can take that off of the back, put it on the front, and it can pull out this. Most people say you want a winch that can handle like at least double the weight of the vehicle you're trying to pull out. This thing weighs 700 kilos or 650 kilos. So I can theoretically stick that winch on the front of this and pull it out of mud or whatever I need to do it. Obviously this mud probably. It was only 127 pound or something like that, which is really, really cheap. I bought it, it turned up really quickly. Joe and I mounted it to this, which is the roll bar for the truck. It sort of, it was almost like the best place to put it and it is solid, like it's not going anywhere. This is the roll bar, so it's sort of reinforced metal rather than cheap flimsy shit. I was thinking about putting it on here, but that's quite flimsy, like I can bend that with my hand that I can't. We tested it with Emma's NC750X, which weighs the same as Bristol, and it was completely fine. God bloody winch, mate. <laughs> When we pick the bike up, this is all coming, all the footage is coming in a minute. It's a bit all over the place, but you'll like, you'll be able to see it. We picked the bike up and then I bought it back to my house. Two weeks later, Emma and I were going up to the Yorkshire area to do this family get together thing with her family. So I said to Tommy, well, I'll bring it up with me. I'll, I'll come up in the truck and I'll bring it up with me because he lives Chesterfield way. Now, one thing I will say before someone says, why didn't you do this? You will see in the footage that I put the bike bolt straight. Now the winch is slightly offset to pull it up a ramp. And then the idea would be to put the bike in at an angle like that kind of thing. These two uh, boxes weren't here. So it would have been put the bike in at an angle. Because this 
truck weighs nothing obviously bikes although they're relatively well balanced you don't know how much is over the front how much is over the rear i know it would have fitted this way at an angle at least if it was in the middle i know all the weight is in the middle and i can work out from there it did mean that it didn't quite shut at the back so this was lowered down to here kind of thing it was still completely fine. So the footage you're about to watch is me going to pick the bike up with Emma and then it will cut to me taking the bike up to Tommy's house. Some of it's phone footage, uh, some of it's portrait, some of it's landscape. It's a bit all over the place, which is why I thought I'd bring you this part of the video to explain what happened rather than it just being a random bit of video. But yeah, I can pick stuff up in Keith, it's called Keith, because K-E-I is how you spell K-Truck. K-E-I-T-H is how you spell Keith. Keith! It's also one of the most British names I could think of for a Japanese truck, because it's really funny. So it's Keith, the K-Truck. Keith! And also, can you see all, all my stickers? I've got a Japanese, uh, Japanese writing on my sunstrip. All these little like logos. I've got, oh shit, I keep falling down there. That apparently says Suzuki in Japanese, but um, it might say something about sushi. <laughs> Someone replied saying it looks like a headless man and a non-headless man running towards a telephone pole. So that might be what it also is. I don't know, but apparently it says Suzuki. The other thing that's quite cool about my winch is it's all remote control. <laughs> so I can hold that while I'm sort of pushing the bike up and I can control it all while I'm going up the ramp. Even cooler. So yeah, I got a winch on my truck. Have you got a winch on your truck? No. <laughs> well, you probably, you might do, I don't know. Let's get the cover back on that. Tommy's planning on fixing this bike up, by the way. That's, it's a project for him and his, basically him and his dad. He's gonna document some of it on his Instagram and bits like that. So I'll leave all of his links and everything in the description. If you're interested in picking up a, me picking up a bike that weighs more than this, stick around and watch. Let's get it started, shall we? Oh, on the button. Emma, are you excited for our um, excursion to go and pick stuff up? I can't wait, and the bottle holders work. Yeah, the bottle holder the work. bottle holders hold both our drinks. Yeah, because I designed them to hold drinks. Aren't you just perfection? Yeah. Beast. Yeah, absolute beast, that thing. Oh, I forgot the bottom of it's magnetic. Oh, yeah. So I could just do that. Look at that, yeah. We'll see if my, my anchor points work. Professor Suzuki for the carry on. I mean, the whole truck moves. <laughs> the, the bike doesn't move, but the truck moves. Oh, this is hilarious. Happy I get to use my truck for man things. Just pulled over in a bus stop. <laughs> Picked up a bike for Mr. Tommy Limley. Look at that! The only negative with this is obviously it doesn't quite shut. So I think I'm gonna have to, I mean, to be fair, that's fine. But it's strapped in lovely. It's handling like a champion. What a beast. They looked at me like, what? <laughs> what has he turned up in? Brakes could do with a bit of love. Same with all the calipers and everything, just probably clean those up. Forks aren't too bad, but they're a bit pitted up the top. But yeah, she looks all right. I reckon all of this stuff is just oxidization that you can just probably paint over. Same with this, that could be taken off. Tires look in really good condition and they're also pumped up and they've held, held the pressure. Exhaust is in good condition. There is that, a small crack in that. Everything else, like chain and sprockets, as you'd expect. That just needs a bit of a polish. Put, take these off, rub them down and spray them. And then, yeah, it's just a little bit of like surface stuff, really. There is a little bit of rust on the old cat on the exhaust that you just put a, a system on. But the paint's generally quite good. Like, it's not really a problem. I mean, there's some just stuff on it. But well, I'm sure you could just give it a good clean and it'll come up all right. 
Look at it. <laughs> got to get this home and then, um, yeah, I've got to get it up to <coughs> Yorkshire. <laughs> we should be in here somewhere. Uh, bike hasn't moved the entire journey, but I'm still worried about it. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Oh, mate, that looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Go up here, turn, uh, turn around, then I can face downhill. Yeah. No power steering. <laughs> <laughs> Delivery service. Oh, yeah. Get the winch out. This is all new kit. So I bought. New straps, orange, because obviously, yeah, fast ob straps. obviously fastest straps you can buy. <laughs> no brakes on it. Oh really? Actually, yeah. All right. <laughs> so I, it might be literally just because it needs bleeding. Oh, when I message put it on my Instagram that I yeah. bought a winch, yeah. someone commented just went, "Oh yeah, or you could use um, use the engine like most people would, like most normal people would, kind of thing." I'm like, "Yeah, but what if the engine doesn't work?" I own a Ducati, there's quite a high chance that that won't work. <laughs> Here we go. Who said you don't need a winch? Look at that. Magic. Don't even need to try. Do you want me to winch it into your garage for you? <laughs> there you go, Vincent Recovery Services. The slowest recovery you'll ever have. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it'll take you six days to get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at that. Pull that back in. Oh, look at you being a circus performer. Bring that over. Click that on. Winching done. Winch control off. Cover on. Look how happy he is. <laughs> I am happy. Winches are amazing. Moment of truth. Take two, not flashing on the fuel anymore. We've got three, four bars, see how I get on. Wow, it feels so close. <laughs> 